It's regional finals this week all around the Commonwealth as eight teams from each of the state's six classes continue to vie for the chance to make it to Bowling Green. From the Hambly Athletic Complex in the Class 1A football action, the defending Class 1A state champions, the Pikeville Panthers, hosted district rival Hazard. Some pregame smack talk went on before the teams took the field. Hazard just trying to help out Pikeville's girlfriends, saying that, well, they'll be free next Friday. And with a more subtle touch, 99 Bulldogs lights out as the Panthers take the field at the Hambly Athletic Complex. Mid-first quarter here, Panthers trying to find their offensive groove. Quarterback Wyatt Battle airs it out, connects with Clay Sloan just outside of the end zone, and the Panthers strike first. Just seconds into the second quarter, the Bulldogs tie it up with a rushing touchdown from Corey Smith. And that, well, it won't be the last you see of him tonight. A few minutes later in the second quarter, he is unstoppable by this Pikeville defense. Corey Smith carrying this hazard offense on his back, trying to take a breather. The guy's saying, come on, you're doing a great job. We need you. And as soon as he gets back onto his feet, he's back into the end zone for another hazard touchdown. Corey Smith went for 279 yards. Get this, 40 carries and five touchdowns. It was an upset tonight as the defending Class A state champions fall to hazard by a score of 42 to 19. And the Bulldogs advance to play the winner of Paintsville and Raceland. Heading to Paintsville now to find out who the Hazard Bulldogs will play next Friday. An electric game from Memorial Field. The crowd and the players were up for this game. The Tigers starting with the ball and a handoff to number one Kit Phelps, a kid who, who has done wonders for this offense. Darren Morris connects with James Allen and again they keep the drive alive. Darren Morris finds a slant route across the middle and connects with Tyrese Allen and he does the rest taking it into the end zone for a Paintsville touchdown. Final score from Paintsville, 21 to 14 as Paintsville moves on to face Hazard as they pick up their as they pick up a regional title. The three-time state defending Class 3A champions, the Belfry Pirates, wasted no time defending their turf at Cam Stadium. In the first quarter, Derek Wellman is handed the ball and goes to the center for his first touchdown of the night. Though they were at midfield, Belfry wanted everyone to know that nowhere is safe. Quarterback Noah Corbett takes the ball and runs and runs and runs for another touchdown. However, well, I'm sorry, he stopped just shy of the three-yard line, but a That'll end up in a touchdown from Wellman. He falls into the end zone and the second score for the Pirates. Belfry receives the punt from Russell. This one goes well for the Pirates when Kevin Browning receives the ball and scores from a 57-yard return. Once the Pirates got back within striking distance of the end zone, the ball is handed off to Cameron Cantron in this next play here as he charges straight through the defense and makes a straight shot for the end zone to score the fourth Belfry touchdown of the night. Final score from Cam Stadium, the Belfry Pirates pick up their seventh straight regional title by a score of 43-12 on the George Swain State Farm High School scoreboard. They will travel to Corbin next Friday. Johnson Central took on the Allen Central Tom, I mean, I'm sorry, Ashland Blazer Tomcats this evening. A little tongue twisters. Three minutes into the first quarter, number 16 quarterback Riley Priest makes a 40-yard pass to Jordan Blanton. Following Priest, he hands it off to number 6, Joe Jackson, who takes it about 30 yards for the first Eagles touchdown. Back at it again, number 8, Blake Gamble, takes it 65 yards all the way home for touchdown number 2. Still on the offensive side of things, the Eagles give it to Joe Jackson again and... 70 yards for this one for the third Johnson Central touchdown of the night. Final score shutting out the Ashland Blazer Tomcats 51 to nothing. Then the Johnson Central Eagles pick up their second straight regional title and they will face Wayne County next Friday. So plenty of more football action to look forward to next week as we get down to the nitty gritty of high school football. Absolutely. And we'll be right back.